September marks the beginning of the autumn in Tajikistan. Here, in the plains along the Panj River, facing Afghanistan, it is harvest time. This is Yusuf, from the village of Hashhog. He is an English teacher at a school in the nearby village of Garam Chashma. He invited me to stay at his place and insisted on carrying my backpack. After having lunch, he is ready for his agriculture duty. Ah, different culture, my friend. Maybe next time you, I will find harvest tractor or harvest machine come by. Should be separated for a few hours, not for two or three days. Every weekday, Yusuf walks from Hashhorog to the school in Garam Chashma and back, a total of 14 kilometers journey. And now he has to carry the harvested sheaves from his field to the threshing floor. Following the harvest, the grain separation process should be done as soon as possible, otherwise the crops might get soaked by rain or crushed by passing cattle. In this field, sheaves are placed like that so they can dry more quickly in case they get wet by the rain. Each family in the village has a plot of land for agriculture, and all families are busy carrying sheaves from the fields into the village for grain separation. Children also take part in agricultural tasks after coming back from school. Once the main road went through the village. Today the main road bypasses the village, and the old paved road is used as a threshing floor. Oxen are used for most agricultural duties, Threshing is one of them. Only a couple of families in the village own oxen, and they let other families use them. In return, they will be given hay to feed the cattle in the cold winter. Threshing with oxen is a tedious work, and as you can see, it requires a careful attention to the oxen's needs. Ox poop can seriously spoil the broth. Now it is Johnny's turn to thresh with the oxen, while Yusuf prepares to his turn. It is getting dark soon, and the threshing process takes hours. Friends from the village gather to help, and in the meantime, Johnny's son enjoys the company of Jimpula. It is now Yusuf's turn, and the oxen are marching towards his crops. The initial stage requires some attention. Threshing is loosening the edible part of the grain from the husks and straw to which it is attached. Originally, threshing meant to tramp or stamp heavily with the feet and was later applied to the act of separating out grain by the feet of people or oxen. Barley grain will be mixed with some wheat grains to prepare flour for bread. The rest will be used to feed the cattle in the winter. Threshing machine was invented already in 1786. During the Soviet Union times, agricultural machinery was common throughout villages, but currently only larger villages in the valley have threshing machines and tractors. In modern farms, a combined harvester does both harvesting, threshing and winnowing, which is the final stage of grain separation, removing chaff. Currently, all agricultural work in Hashhog is done by hand, and the community is hoping to get at least a threshing machine which will enable them to do the separation process in three hours instead of at least three days. <coughs> this agricultural work is a grueling task, but it brings the community together. It encourages cooperation and mutual aid. Once agriculture in the village gets industrialized, Will people be able to fill their time with other sources of income or meaningful activities in such a remote area? 
Will the social connections prevail? You may judge by yourself. Yusuf invites you to visit the village and spend time in his homestay.